Outlook email, like first class email, uses the paperclip icon to indicate that you have an attachment. As you can see in the center under my inbox, there are two paperclips on the top too. There's a paperclip on each of these. And when I click on it, I'm going to be able to view the attachment. Here, now that I've clicked on it, it opens this email over in the reading pane on the right hand side. I can see here that I do have one attachment. And if I look at this, I can tell that it's a Word document by the W on the icon. Now I have two choices here. If I click on this icon, it will open up my Microsoft Word program from my computer. And it may take a minute or 90 seconds to do that, depending on how fast my computer is. Or if I'm not sure I want to do that, I can just actually preview what this document's going to look like. So to just take a preview of it, when I hover over that, you see the word preview comes up. I can click on preview. Another window pops up. It may take a moment for the document to open. As you can see, it's working on it. And while we're here, you can see that I still have my email open below this. That it opens up on top of your email just like it did in first class. I can look now at the attachment that was sent to me. And I think I'm going to need to keep this. If I didn't, I could just click the X and close it up here and go on about my business and finish reading my email. Or now that I think I'm going to need it, I'm going to actually download it. To download it, I'm going to come over here to the download button. I'm going to click on that. And because I'm on a Windows 7 machine, it's going to ask me, do I want to open this or to save it? Well, I need to save it. So I'm going to come over here, click on the black downward facing triangle. I get another menu. I'm going to go to Save As. And the reason I'm going to Save As is because I want the option of being able to tell my computer where to save this in what folder and also what I want to name it. So I'm going to click on Save As. And it brings up another window that goes with Save As. As you can see here, I can choose where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to drill down to my desktop by clicking on it on the side. And then I'm going to find my folder, which is my 2012-2013 school year folder. And I'm going to double click. And now I'm just going to file it in that folder. So all I need to do is hit save. But before I do, I'm going to check the name of the document, which is exactly what it is on the document, 20th century classroom and the versus the 21st century. So I can now at this point know that I'm saving it to my 2012-2013 folder and that it's going to be named this and I can just click save. And once I've done that, it's now stored on my computer. I can go back to it at any time and I can use it any way I need to. And now you've seen how to open attachment in Outlook and how to save the attachment to your desktop.